M and M's. Shh, shh, I'm on the phone. Oh. Hey, Robbie. What? Uh, it's Bombus. Oh. They're wondering if you're gonna do a thing about oh, shoot. I Bombus probably do that. in the beginning. Oh yeah, I guess I'll do it. Sorry. Right. Yeah, I gotta go. Sorry, y'all. We're, we're now on the video. Oh yeah, so this review is sponsored by Bomba Socks. What's in the bag? What do you got in that bag? There is something in the bag though that we're there not is. showing people. All right, surprise. They're gonna have to stay tuned till the end yeah. to find out what's you, in this bag. We just pick random things out of the office and throw it in the bag and see, what's, and you have to guess what it is. It could be refreshing. It, wow, that's a hint. That's a hint. Listen to the sound. Nah, <laughs> not mm -hmm. Anyways, this review is sponsored by Bomba Socks. Great running socks. We wear them all the time for everything from running, actually, to just everyday life. They're very comfortable. Um, if you buy a pair, they give a pair to someone in need. You can save 20% off your first order by using code BITR20. Uh, they make good Christmas presents. They do, and Robbie, if you've seen some of my posts about the gear I'm wearing, you'd notice I'm not wearing that many Bombas lately. I need to get some Bomba socks. We need more because we keep them all in the office for these videos. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got? Dude, this is a crazy shoe because the regular version of it is, in my opinion, okay. Yeah, and for anyone who's just watching and doesn't know how to read titles on YouTube, this is the Nike Pegasus Trail 4 GTX, GTX which stands for Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex. Again, Gore-Tex, waterproof. This is their waterproof version of the shoe. If you haven't seen our Peg Ford Trail typical video of this shoe, uh, this is one of my favorite just overall shoes of the year. It's a great road to trail shoe. Like, Don't you kind of wish comfy. they just had a road version of this, a little slicker? Bottom. Yeah, they should, because I know a lot of people, I've said this before, use this just for roads and it works great. It's a little bit different than the three in that the tongue stitching only goes up to here. Mm. So the waterproof ability is really only to this line, because once it goes above that, your feet are getting wet. The but I don't submerse my foot in the water in these. I use but that's the not, it's just not that the... deep. My thing is like when you're crossing a creek and you're stepping on rocks. A creek? Creek, creek, whatever. You know, you might not go fully submerged, but maybe you're stepping on rocks and it comes up to here. Maybe it dances around the top of the foot. Uh, I want to be make sure I'm waterproof. Okay, so Robbie's saying when you go across the creek and you get the water in there. Now, even if it was stitched up to here, say that you get the water in, I'm gonna say there's a benefit to it only being stitched there. You know what that is? You don't get the bucket effect and I the mean, water can squeeze out. Yeah, I get it. It's like six of one, half dozen of another, I guess. Okay, take me to your rocky trail. I did take this on a trail run in Pennsylvania on the Appalachian Trail, which is not a trail at all. It's just a bunch of rocks covered with leaves. It's mentally very stressful. I almost think it's like a test for Robbie to see if he could twist his ankle. I'm honestly shocked it didn't happen. Like, I don't know how it didn't happen. Uh, it was like an Indiana Jones, like Temple of Doom style, like booby trapped the whole time. I, I would have liked to have been there throwing spears at you. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to dodge them. I did test it out in a creek there, just to, like kind of submerge my foot up to here for, I don't know, a minute, just to see how the waterproofing was. It was fine, it didn't leak, so bonus points for that. I remember some guy writing in that it's not waterproof. That's, Do you think that's what the problem was? I think it went over the top. That's the, the only thing I can imagine because I really, I sat there for a while just with my foot in the Look, water. The one thing that we do love about Gore-Tex is they test every product. This is guaranteed waterproof, which means if it isn't waterproof, you can just send it back to them but yeah. I'm gonna tell you, this is waterproof. Yeah, waterproof ability in this, I found it to be good. The upper is really comfortable. Uh, I think in the last version, there was some kind of like bunchy stuff going on, which you kind of get a little bit with Gore-Tex versions. It's, well, it's basically a sleeve around yeah. the shoe. And you get it a little bit here, but honestly, I thought the lockdown was really good. What I liked is it's a little more narrow and fitted on, on the upper than it was in the previous model. I also like, I really like this soft, almost like a gator yeah. on the top that keeps debris and stuff out. It feels really good against the ankle. Okay, let's get to the React midsole because we love it. Yeah, we do, and I do like that it says, just do it, reason not required. You do not need a reason to just do it in these shoes. See, Nike messes around, so the peg has an air pad in here under the forefoot. You used to have the Epic React, but then they were like, no, you gotta have the Infinity and the, it just didn't feel as pure as this one does. What I love about this midsole, it's just the right amount of cushioning that your foot feels protected. It's not overly cushioned. It just feels great. It's flexible. It's cushioned. What do you got to say? Oh, I mean, I basically say the same thing. It's one of my favorite 
midsoles in the game, just overall. I just, I think it's so comfortable. I love running in it. I did feel like it started to bottom out underneath the palm of my foot, but I know it's not meant for road running. On the trails, I like I said, I did run with this on rocky terrain and wouldn't recommend it in those situations. You start feeling the rocks a lot under here because there's no rock plate or protection really. So it starts it starts hurting a little bit after a while. So I would say- It's more tame trails I'd say. Yeah, I'd say like medium technical to, um, to lighter trails. Like, I felt like this has more grip. I don't have any scientific evidence. Yeah. But what did you think? Well, before you get to that, if you're still watching this video, please like or subscribe because yeah, this really is helps. the part, this is the part where you're gonna like and subscribe because yeah. we're gonna give you the dish. It makes us happy. Like when you hit that like button, angels fall from the sky and um, land on our shoulders. Didn't know that. And that's uh, cool. they take us up to a heavenly spot. Okay, that sounds like we're doing drugs, but yeah. all right. The outsole on this, by the way, yeah, we've complained about this so much in the past. Like the Nike, fix your outsole. Come on, you, you have more money than, um, like, than Reebok, than Qatar <laughs> for the World Cup. Make something that's good, or just pay Vibram for their outsole and put it on there. Continental. Um, so, anyways, year. it's always been poor until this version. And I t can tell you, I can confirm with you that something has changed in this rubber. I mean, is this the part where we throw up the video of you trying to stand on a rock? Uh, we could, yeah. All right. I mean, it was very. All that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> this is some suspect uh, <laughs> scientific testing, but it. Yeah, I. This sticks so much better than other tr uh, past Nike trail shoes, where anything wet, you would just slip and slide all over it. This I really felt was. I didn't really have any issues on, issues on wet rocks or wet terrain. The lug depth isn't that deep, so like when you're running over, say like piles of leaves, you might find some slippage just because it doesn't dig in that much. It's definitely a better version of it, stickier, grippier. Please don't mess this up, Nike. Don't mess this up. How much did you have to pay for this guy? So I believe that was 145 or 140. So you throw in the Gore-Tex, you make it more waterproof, you throw on better rubber on the bottom. Yeah. What happens to the price? Uh, it goes up by, uh, what's the guy? Who's the guy on a 20? Hold on. No, it's not hey. a, by 20, is it 20 or? Hey, 20. Hamilton? 20's, no, it, it's Jackson, isn't it? No. Jackson. It's the, he's Isn't got he the canceled? crazy hair. Hamilton? Uh, it's not a Hamilton. Washington's the one I always tip my waiters with, cause mm. just because when I'm feeling saucy. Like he likes to spread them out? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, anyways. Lincoln's on the I think 10, it's right? Hamilton. No, I thought, five. I swear it's Hamilton. That's five. All right, we'll figure it out. This is $160. Wasn't there a musical also called Hamilton? Wait, was it, it's about the same guy, right? I think so. I've never actually seen it. I should have. I haven't seen it. I tried to, it came on is like the Disney scene? Plus channel. And I tried to watch a little bit, but I don't really like musicals. And I'm as soon of, as they went in, I'm kind of the song. same. But it was—I think I have seen some of it. And it was pretty good. So right. this shoe, this shoe is 160 dollars. You can—it seems to be always on sale right now. I've seen it for 110 dollars on Running Warehouse. What? I think it's the same on actually Nike.com right now. They have it for like 100. I think they have a small window that like winter. Yeah. Get it. So you can pick it up for a lot cheaper than that, and I would highly recommend it at that price point, especially. Robbie, with all the negative things that you said about this shoe, what are you gonna give it? Uh, this is a tough decision. Guess I gotta go green. I'd agree with Robbie, this shoe, even if you're not running, and I didn't take it on one trail, I just wore it on the rows, and wore it in the office, wore it around. I like this shoe, just period. Yeah, I love this for pretty much everything, walking, running, on roads, running on trails. It's one of my favorite shoes, like in general, really. What would you compare this to? Like an SUV? Like it's good in the country, oh, it's good in the like off-road? It's like an Outback. Okay, or, there you go, yeah. an Outback. Um, Subaru, Outback. Anyways, we should probably check what's in the Bombas bag. This is what you expect. Oh, oh, it's a pomplemousse. It's a, what is pomplemousse? Is that even a real thing? Yeah, it's grapefruit. That's how you say grapefruit, Why did you say grapefruit? in France. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's so good. Anyways, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Like we said, follow us, support our sponsor, Bombas. Mm. Uh, so good once it hits your lips. Oh, we still have summer, or sorry, we still have winter grit options available. A winter grit light, you can still get a winter cap, participate in the event, have fun, 30 bucks. And you're entered in to win prizes. Yeah, from not this brand. Yeah. And follow us on Strava and our Strava Club, Instagram, Facebook, all those things. Make sure you listen to the Drop Podcast and sign up for a weekly email. Anything else? Yeah, if you like the parts of this that weren't a oh, shoe review, shoe. you will love the Drop. Thanks for editing this one, Brandon. It's super long. He knows when we get together. All right. Oh, you want to? Whammy!
I did talk to someone at Nike when we were at the running event. He was like, I don't know, I guess so. We Let's feel the rubber, and it was. He, he said it might have been a winterized rubber. Let's feel the rubber. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. they have a van. That there. happened in the trailer. Wait, they have a van there. Yeah, <laughs> Robbie. Um, let's feel the rubber. Yeah, that's that's why no cameras were allowed in there. <laughs> that's I true. Wonder why. Um, and that's why things got awkward, as they are.